My name's Alex Cassegrain, and I'm the senior winemaker here at Cassegrain Wines. Today we're fortunate enough to be able to go through the next release wines, which are just, just being packed and dispatched. Uh, we've just come off vintage, so I'm fortunate enough to be able to get my weekends back and no doubt the rest of the winemaking team will be enjoying their weekends as well. It's the first time we've had our weekends in probably about four months, so we're really excited about that. But needless to say, we should really start looking at these new wines. Uh, to start off with, we've got our 2018 White Label Vidello. The fruit from this particular wine comes from Rolston, which is in the Central Ranges, which has been our stable vineyard for the Vidello for the past few years. This year, the wine itself has only actually, we're a lot shorter in terms of quantity, quantities that we were expecting, so unfortunately we haven't got that much to play with, but the quality that we've got is fantastic. This particular wine has got a fantastic colour, uh, beautiful aromatics. It's not exhibiting all the typical Vidello characters. It's still got that oiliness, still got that sort of uh, tropical characters, but it does have a hint of citrus, which is going to really help this wine age. Beautiful aromatics. Definitely not shy on that. The palate, very crisp. Not a sweet Vidello. We, we like to be able to dry for this particular wine, uh, which seems to suit our market very, very well. It's a very enjoyable wine, very uh, easy to match with foods. Um, in terms of you've got your fruit dishes, it'll be fantastic. Um, yeah, it's going to be a wine that ages very well. The next wine is the 2018 Edition Noir Semillon. Now this particular wine, the regions can vary each year. Last year it was from uh, the Hastings uh, and Central Ranges. This year though, we have actually sourced all the fruit from uh, New England up near Tenerfield. So it's a very different climate. And, but we changed the, the date of which we picked this particular wine. We picked it a little bit earlier on just to ensure that the warmer climate characters weren't imparting as much on this particular wine as they can. We wanted a, a semillon that is fresh and crisp but still very enjoyable and appealing to the market. Uh, this particular wine uh, came in very early on uh, and has a, had a relatively long and cool fermentation to ensure that we kept all those varietals. Aromatically it's got quite a lot of herbaceous characters um, but still has that lemon and lime hit that we're really liking and I, I envision that with a little bit of time we are going to get a bit of that tropical characters come through. Again, on the palate, it is a dry wine. Got great fresh acidity both at the front of the palate and the rear, making it a relatively long wine palate-wise. Uh, it's gonna be a great one that goes with all, all sorts of fish and seafood dishes, um, but also just as an aperitif uh, after work on a hot, uh, cold winter's day. <laughs> now, the next two wines are something that we're really excited to show. We are. Uh, in particular the Nebbiolo. Now this is the first time we've made a Nebbiolo from the Hilltops region. Um, in the previous it's been Central Ranges, but we we're fortunate enough just to get a few tonnes from Hilltops, and which is in Young. This particular wine we're very excited about. It's a wine that we've paid very close attention to ever since it came into the winery. Now this wine we actually did bottle several months ago because we wanted to ensure that we kept its freshness there and we're only just starting to release it now. Um, it's true to style in terms of Nebbiolo, it's got fantastic aromatics, it's going to age very, very well and it's not an overly ripe uh, Nebbiolo. Got beautiful aromatics of rhubarb and ripe, ripe cherry and a little bit of sourness there from the cherry which is just going to give it a little bit of complexity through its ageing. On the palate, brilliantly vibrant got fantastic acidity but not to be overdone good tannin structure so it's going to give the wine some great length and it's going to be a fantastic wine to match with food our last wine is our 2017 seasons cabernet this particular wine was made from parcels of fruit from two different regions we have the hilltops as well as orange this particular cabernet is undeniably a cabernet in character it's very it's got rich uh, cassis flavors Fantastic fruit profile, a little bit of herbaceous uh, characters, which is typical of the Cabernet. Um, great oak, oak integration, but as a wine itself, it's very soft, subtle, it's got nice silky tannins. It's gonna be paired very well with, uh, with steaks and other red meats. It's gonna be a wine that's gonna be enjoyed 
with food, or even on its own. For those club members who are about to receive their wines, we hope you enjoy. And for those who are not club members, we really do encourage you to come out and try the wines. But if you can't come out because of distance, feel free to contact either Josh or Sally, who will be more than happy to help you order these wines. These wines are in limited release, so we only do have a very small uh, stock availability for them. And we do, well, we wouldn't want you to miss out, that's for sure. Thank you.